Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to another episode of EDH Randomizer. Uh, same rules as usual. Deck can't have more than 500 listed. We won't really talk about staples as much. If I do, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's hit uh, random and see what we get. Alright, so <laughs> here we're going to have another mono blue. Here we have Hercule, Master Wizard. Can I make this bigger? In any way, shape, or form. Oh, okay, there we go. That's really an eyesore, but. So we got Hercule, Master Wizard. So for one and two blue, we have ourselves a 2 4 Human Wizard Advisor. With the, with the ability that, at the beginning of your end step, if you've cast a non creature spell this turn, reveal the top five cards of your library. For each card type among non creature spells you've cast this turn, you may put a card of that type from among the revealed cards into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of the library in any order, in a random order. Okay, so upon first glance here, if you've cast a non creature spell, so that's Incense, sorceries, artifacts, enchantments, planeswalkers. Right? Right. Uh, it's an end step ability. So it's mono blue. She's a wizard. Heh heh heh. Which, like, <laughs> there's some wizard stuff you can run with it. So let's, let's open up Mox Field here. Let's create a new deck. So EDH. Randomizer, Hercule. Okay. All right. So we got Hercule, Master Wizard. It's pace endless. So non-creature spells. So we have art. Yeah. So we want if you cast a non-creature spell this turn. amongst for each card type among non-creature spells you've cast this turn so it cares about whether or not you've cast a non-creature spell but the ability stacks for how many you've cast so it wants you to be able to cast more than just one spell in a turn so I think so we definitely want um, we definitely want right, right so let's do our signet ring but then we also want to have cost reducers so we want our sapphire medallion and I caught it last time <laughs> we want Kefnet's monument I don't remember if that applies to just creatures but it's still a mana reducer uh, we want to be able to reduce the cost of our artifacts so Joyra's Familiar and Foundry Inspector is good for that and then we want to be able to reduce the cost of our instants and sorceries now fortunately there's not a lot in mono blue that does that. It's usually is it. Jace's Sanctum is a card that does that. What is this? The Magic Mirror. The spell costs one less for each instant sorcery in your graveyard. You have keep put knowledge, then draw a card for you. Eh. I mean Wizards of They. Yes. Yes. I definitely uh think that's a good idea. Now, because we're going to be running some more wizards in here, we'll run step through. Because I think we'll run our Kaomancer. Usually a good idea. Uh, what else we got here? What is this? Demi Lich. Tax. Except to one target insert sorcery card from your graveyard. Copy it. You may cast. See, I don't want to be exiling things. Like, okay, get this out of here. We'll need Scryfall open, but because Hercule cares about, yeah, it, well, they don't have to be caught, cast from your hand, but you do want to be able Baral, yeah. Come on. 
brawl will help with that. Um, what about primal amulet? I think so. Yeah, we'll add primal amulet because that's also and that's also an artifact that could be reduced from the other things. Uh, line splice apparatus. See, arcane melee. Yeah, that makes everybody's reduced, so I don't love that. Because there's a sorcery spell, costs one less for each creature it targets. Eh. What is it? Cloud key. There's a battlefield, choose spells of the chosen type. Yes. Yes. That's a good idea. Uh, Snapcaster mage. Yeah, sure. Best cheap it says. Uh, I don't know what Snapcaster Mage is at at this point. Uh, Haughty Gin. It's a good idea. Now, because we're going to be running a lot of these mana reducers, let's look at what EA Track has for us. So we got Eaten by Piranhas, so it can turn something into a skeleton. Shark Typhoon, Ponder is here. Shark Typhoon, definitely. Because then it'll give us board presence for playing non-creature spells. Uh, Preordained, Propaganda, Narset, one with the multiverse. Play lands and cast spells. Cast a spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. Enchantment, it's an eight cost. High Tide, High Tide is always important in a mono blue deck. Here we go. Brainstorm and Preordain. Oops. Preordain. Yeah, we want a lot of cheap stuff. I think. Opit, yes. <laughs> uh, Mystic Armor, Mystic Study, Blah, Blah, Frantic Search. And then there's Sky Diamond. Add to our Mana Rocks there. Lab Man, Reality Chip. Archaeomancer, I did that already. Archmage Emeritus, yes, is always a good. Because we're going to be hopefully running a decent amount of instances and sorceries. And then, yeah, Sky Diamond, because we have some artifact reducing stuff. Uh, Fraxy Metamorph, Spell Seeker. <laughs> I did Brawl. Trinket Mage, Ethereum Sculptor. Yes, I forgot about him. Sculptor. Yeah, we'll run Trinket Mage, because then you can fish out Sol Ring if you don't have it. Drafna. Yes, definitely. Founder of Latnam. Because I'll explain my thought process in a minute. Because Drafna, you can put an artifact back in your hand. You can recast it, re-triggering her kill when the turn's over. The Filer of Dreams, yes. And then copy target artifacts by control, which means like you could have two Sol Rings. You could have two, right? You could have two Mana Rocks. Urza. Wow. You went down in price. That's good. I'll take it. <laughs> Untapped artifact you control to add blue. I think that'd be a good idea, yeah. And, like, the fact that it went down so much in price makes it a bit more of an attainable grab. Uh, exile, Ladonna permanent, flickering stuff. For once, I don't, I don't foresee flickering spark double. It's not legendary. Yes, actually, I, that's a good idea because then you can create an Irenicus's vile duplication. So then you can have multiples of Hercule on your end step. So then each instance of that ability will trigger. So, putting them all in your hand. So you definitely want no maximum hand size, right? Reliquary Tower, Thought Vessel. Uh, 
There was another thing that I saw that gives you no max hand size. Where was it? Where'd it go? Da -da -da -da. What was it? Help me out here, EDH wreck. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Cyclonic Rift, Mystical Tutor, Negate. Uh, yeah, you definitely want to be able to get at the top. Snap is always a really good card. It's free, basically. Uh, flow of Knowledge. I really, yeah, I really like Flow of Knowledge. Now, the fact that you're putting all these cards in your hand. I do think Lab Man's a good idea. Um, resets reversal, force of will. Fuck. <laughs> We're not getting that. We're not getting that. Uh. <laughs> all right. Hercules' final meditation. As long as it's not your turn, return all non-land permits to their owner's hands. End the turn. With so many cost reducers, I don't see that being a problem. So we're going to add that. Like, we definitely want all the cost reducers. I think... Um, I'm normally not a huge fan of Omniscience, but I think it'd be good in this... in this instance. Uh, filter out... Yes. I think filter out would be good, because then you could put everything back into your hand and just recast them. Um, yeah. I was gonna cut it off, but I'd like to bring up the fact that uh, that's this whole ability here, that's a triggered ability that happens at the end step. Uh, Hercule doesn't have to be uh, on the battlefield for that to take effect, so running cards like, like Strionic Resonator and Lithoform Engine would be a really good idea, because you can copy the um you can copy the triggered ability oh yeah spellbook i forgot about spellbook so we'll add that so we'll add that we'll add strionic resonator and lithoform engine i know it's funny because this is the first <laughs> this is probably the first one in this series so far that hasn't had like a target ability so i don't i don't hate that um, we can we could run Urza's Bobble, Wizard Class, <laughs> Present in the Moon, yeah, right, uh, yeah. So I think the, the biggest, yeah, I think the takeaway from this is that so Hercule, you know what, slip out the back would be a good idea. So. So yeah, uh, takeaways from this, Hercule doesn't have to be on the field at the end step for that ability to go off. So if you have like flickering effects, like slow flickering effects or phasing effects, that ability will still happen and she'll be off the field. Which, depending on how you want to play that, can be good. Um, you want as many non-creature spells in here as possible but you want creatures in here that can benefit, you want stuff in here that can benefit. Almost kind of build you a field for, like, Talran. Talran is a good idea. So... So I think, yeah, I'll keep... I'll keep adding to the list. Um, keep at, yeah, keep adding to the list. If you've built, if you've built this as a commander, let me know how it's worked out for you, because, like, it's a pretty interesting ability. It's, like, it's not, it's not card draw. So you can't trigger off card effects. Um, you could run, you could run Storm. I don't know how many Storm cards there are in blue. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's really any... Storm cards in mono blue. I refuse to ever play with Hasta's Oracle. Let's make let's make that clear right now. I will never play with Hasta's Oracle. I hate it. <laughs> I really hate it. Um, Murmuring Mystic. That's the other one. 
Okay, so take away from this is you want to play with as many non-creature spells as you can, and you want to play the creatures that benefit you for playing non-creature spells. So Murmuring Mystic, Tall Rand, um, there's also the Shark Typhoon. It's not a creature, it's an enchantment, but it still gets you field presence, right? Uh, propaganda is pretty, yeah. Propaganda would be a good idea because you're not running a lot of creatures. So you want to try and avoid being attacked. So if you can tax people for doing it, awesome. Uh, but yeah, so I think, yeah, I'll have, I'll have the finish list posted on my mox field. Um, if you want to go check it out, uh, leave some comments on your, on your thoughts about a commander like this. Ooh, is this, is this the type of commander I would personally build? No, just because of, just because of the types of decks I build, but I could see it being really fun. I could see it being really interesting. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, I bid the farewell.